In section 6.1, we're going to talk about relations and functions. So we're going to start with our key idea at the top of page 244 in your book. So I want you to write this down in your notes. Ordered pairs can be used to show inputs and outputs. So let's look at three ordered pairs. Write these down. 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 4. Your inputs, which later on you're going to learn is called domain, but your inputs are your x values. So these are your inputs. So the 0, 1, and 2 are our inputs. The 1, 2, and 4, they are called our outputs. So the x values are your inputs, and so you can put an x underneath. Your y values are called your outputs. So our key idea is as follows. So your key idea is as follows. It's over relations and mapping. So a relation, there's your first vocab word. A relation pairs inputs with outputs, your x with your y. A relation can be represented by ordered pairs or a mapping diagram. There's another vocab word. A mapping diagram is a relation that is represented by ordered pairs. So let's write them as a separate, two separate things, ordered pairs and a mapping diagram. So ordered pairs would look like 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 4, where once again your x values are your inputs, and your y values are your outputs. Now a mapping diagram is taking the input and taking the output and making like a little chart that shows the x values, which are 0, 1, and 2, and your y values 1, 2, and 4, and then you map them. So because the ordered pair is 0, 1, we draw an arrow from 0 to 1. Our second ordered pair is 1, 2. We draw a mapping diagram from 1 to 2. And the same thing goes from 2 to 4. So example 1. List the ordered pairs shown in the mapping diagram. So in A, we have inputs of 1, 2, 3, and 4, and outputs of 3, 6, 9, and 12. So if we listed them as ordered pairs, the ordered pairs would be 1, 3, because the arrow from 1 goes to 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, and 4, 12. In B, we have inputs of 0, 2, and 4, and outputs of 1, 0, negative 2, and negative 3. So in our first order pair, 0 goes to 0. So our order pair would be 0, 0. The next order pair would be 2, 1. The next order pair would be 2, negative 2. And the last order pair would be 4, negative 3. On page 245 in your book, we're going to start talking about a function. This is probably the absolute most important thing you will learn in this section. A relation that pairs each input with exactly one output is a function. A function, which is your vocab word, pairs each input with only one output. So in example two, we have to determine whether each relation is a function. So we have mapping diagrams here that show a relation. Inputs to outputs. We need to show whether or not it's a function or not. So let's look. Does every input only have one output? So 9's an input, it goes to one output. 2, one input to one output. Input goes to one output. Input goes to one output. Yes, this right here is a function. Let's now look at part B. This negative 2 goes to one output. This negative 1 goes to one output. 
This zero goes to five and six. That cannot be done. You cannot have an input or an X value that goes to more than one area. So we know because of zero, part B is not a function. Example three, consider the mapping diagram to the right. So over to the right, we have a mapping diagram, a relation. Determine whether this relation is a function. So let's look. Does every input only go to exactly one output? Yes, they do. So yes, it is a function. Now we have to describe the pattern of inputs and outputs in the mapping diagram. So this is where we kind of use what we know about slope, which we did a long time ago. We have to take this and realize what's happening here. So I'm going to use, uh, let's use yellow. All right, so if we look at our inputs, what's happening each time? One to two, two to three, three to four. Your input is increasing by one. What's happening to your output? Each time this is increasing by 15, plus 15, plus 15. So we have to put that in words. In words, we would say, as each input increases by 1, the output increases by 15. In example 4, I want you to do two things. First part is A, is the relation of a function, and B, describe the pattern of inputs and outputs. So pause the video and try this yourself. So in A, is it a function? So if A is a function, we go from one input to output, and it does. Each of your inputs goes to one output. So yes, it is a function. Describe the pattern. Well, if we look at our inputs, our inputs increase by 2 each time. And our outputs decrease by 3. So we can say as the input increases by 2, the output decreases by 3. So remember in this chapter, or in this section, please know what a relation and a function, what they are. You need to know the vocab words.